Hello guys, uh, we're going to try and get our Fat Creations YouTube channel um, up to some sort of enjoyable standard. So this is going to be the first how-to video we're going to do. We're going to try and do as many as we can over the next few months and probably years. Uh, hopefully you'll find them educational and interesting. There's going to be some hiccups along the way. Like I say, it's the first time we've tried to do this, so hopefully we do an okay job. Today we're going to focus on marbleizing. Um, so we're going to go for a marble finish, and then we're going to go for a candy coat over the top of it. So let's go into the workshop. Let's go into the spray booth even. frame we're going to be working on today is a Scott Addict RC, so it's the top of the range Scott road frame. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a silver marbleizer paint. This comes in various forms from various manufacturers. We use specialist paints for this, that's Custom Paint Ink. Gonna mask up and start the process. So we'll start by applying the marbleizing paint. Basically, this is a paint material stays wet for a long time so it gives you a chance to go for some really crazy effects. I'm going to put my mask on and you'll just have to watch this stage. Just want to make sure you've got the frame really well covered. We wind that fan up for a bit. And then as soon as it's covered, you can start playing with the marble marble effect. Excuse me, I'm dressing, it's warm in here. So we already have our cling film. Hanging up conveniently, you need to be able to do this in a fairly neat fashion because it can get quite tricky. We've all played with cling film before, there's nothing worse than cling film getting stuck to itself. So, to try and avoid that, we always hang ours from the ceiling and cut it into manageable lengths. Stop laying it over what you just painted. Don't think about it too much. Don't worry about how the pattern looks or anything like that. Just start laying it on there for now. You get enough time with these marbleizers to, to play, but you don't get forever. So the most important thing just get it covered in clean film as soon as you can. And turn that fan off now. And then, then 
you can worry about how it looks. Like I say, just get the clean film on as quick as you can. Get into all of the folds and creases of the frame or whatever it is you're, you're doing. You want to make sure you've put enough of the marbleizer on, so it doesn't matter if you get any runs or anything like that, it's better to put too much on than not enough. You can fix any runs as you progress with the cling film. You can use anything you want for this, you can use bubble wrap, you can use jean material, um, anything you like really. We like to use cling film when we're going for this particular effect. It's tried and tested and we know it works really well. So remember, make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies. Doesn't have to be neat. As long as you've got an interference between the paint, whatever you're putting on, and the paint surface, you will get an effect. It's a bit like a uh, sketch out of the Full Monty, for any of you that are my age, you'll know this sketch. It involves a garden shed, a roll of cling film and a Mars bar. If only losing weight was really that easy. Try to work a little bit quicker here now. <clears throat> Nearly there. Didn't cut that one very well, did I? Once you finish wrapping the bike, it is a good idea to turn it upside down. Even experienced painters can benefit from turning the frame they're painting upside down. Very often you will miss a bit. You might find that there's not, there's not enough marbleizer on the frame. So you want to add a bit more, that's not a problem to do. In fact, I'll do that in a minute just to show you, even though hopefully it won't need it. So we'll flip this over. Okay, so I've decided there's not enough here. So it's very easy to rectify. Just Paint some more on. I think this is the last bit. Press pause on the video and then liven you back up when we go to strip this off. So I've left it about five minutes, that's all, because the way I like to do it, there's no right or wrong way. 
I like to get the clean film off. We've got the basic effect now. I like to get the clean film off. Sometimes I take the wet edges of the clean film, with loads of paint on there, and I'll just touch it across areas where I think we could do with a bit more of a silver marble effect. When, I, when you're taking it off this quickly, you are going to encourage there to be some runs. But I prefer to keep an eye on it during this sort of 10 minute stage and every now and then just give it a little touch with the cling film until I get the desired effect that I'm after. We'll check the underside of the frame first, once we're finished. And then if I'm happy with that, we'll flip it over. So here, we're very dry. There's just nowhere near enough. So, take the clean film that's got paint on it and just touch it back over that area to put a little bit more paint on there, same here. A little bit there that's not quite covered the way I'd like it to be. I'm pretty happy with the underside. Let's turn this frame over and focus on the top. Top's pretty good actually. I'm going to add a little bit more paint here. You should wear gloves, don't do it like this at home. So basically, there you have it. That's the marble side of this job done. Give a closer look. You can see where it's still drying in some places, but I'm really satisfied with the effect. So, I'll wait for this to dry off and then we'll go over it with an interclear which will seal this marbleizer and then it'll leave us in a position where we can take this to the next stage. I'll do another video for you of how we take this from silver marble to a really luscious deep candy red marble effect. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed our first attempt. I know it can be a lot better. I have had a look back at some of the footage and it's going to be a bit of a learning process. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it so far. Take care.